wait for a couple of people to join us. Let's see. Let's fiddle with some camera angles whilst uh, nobody's here. That's all wrong. Professional stuff. Right. Nice and clean. That's what we want. <laughs> Hello, Alice. Walking the dog. We'll have to catch you later. No problem, Alice. Enjoy walking the dog. Um, Marvellous way to spend an afternoon. Uh, we shall catch you up. You can come and watch this later. It'll all be saved on uh, YouTube. Um, they don't get saved here on Twitch after 14 days. But uh, enjoy your walk, Alice. Toodaloo. <laughs> Right, I might have found a bit of going. So for anyone who's in the background, hello, good afternoon. Not be the most successful start. Um, the sink, we think, started to leak, and now I'm going to have to watch that very carefully. The bread has taken, I think, two, yes, two, 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 two. Um, the bread has taken now about seven hours. <laughs> um, I think if we're ever going to do this all in one go, um, it's going to have to be a full days of stream and lots of other things. But here we are. Here's our thrice risen dough. Um, we started with getting the mix all together. Then there was a problem with the yeast. Then we fixed the problem with the yeast whilst I was chatting with my family and my grandmother. Um, you can see all of this on Instagram. It's all there. We did a couple of live stories and a, a live and some pictures. Um, but it's taken a very long time, this. Huge amount of time. So what I need to do, I'll try and do this as best I can, is I'll just ease this onto our already lightly floured surface. Try and get as much as I can, because I don't want to... It's taken seven hours. It's even a bit of a shame to, to lose any of it now. It's, oh, goodness gracious. It is bread lava. Then again, it did this with our our Korean pancakes, and they came out okay. They were all right. This does look even more globular, to be fair. Um, hmm. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So. Okay, let's let that sit there. So, welcome to the stream. I've created something out of Doctor Who. Marvellous. Um... <laughs> Not Also doing a stream that doubles up as plumbing watch. See whether or not any of it starts to leak out. Nope, seems to just be making tricky noises now. And for the next part, we're going to need this lightly oiled and floured. But for now, 
what we need to do next, and this is also a bread recipe that I have never... Ooh, what's this? I'm need something from somewhere. Where has that come from? Hold on, pardon me folks. I seem to have got some water in the foot. Where have I got that from? Try that again. Okay. So we've got our dough. Um, now we need to shape it into a loaf from a splat. So we're going to let's start just slowly with the spatula to begin with. Move this to something that's sort of loaf shaped. And I hope that people join us. Everyone is well and having a lovely Sunday. I'm starting to lose track of the days. Had a lovely, lovely stream yesterday uh, evening with all our lovely regulars and a, a lovely raid supplied by Mr. Soup Lettuce. Very kind gentleman. So, very good spirits. A lovely few days. So we're starting just by just gently working this into something that looks like a loaf. Which is, I'll be honest, not the easiest thing, but it is sort of playing some kind of ball with me. It's not being completely awkward, but it is, to be honest, as soon as I leave it alone, it's coming back again. But here we are. So, the spatula trick seems to be working well with this dough though, so I'm just going to keep gently working it until it's dough-like. Dough-like. Loaf-like, even. Because then apparently, shape to look like a loaf is the directions I've got. Then fold under itself several times to form a ball. Which seems a bit counterintuitive, really, but... If you're going to fold it into a loaf, why then turn it into a ball? But never mind. That is what is asked of me. That is what I shall do. Admittedly, this is... We've not had a lot, a lot of luck recently with baking. It turns out a uh, lovely Mrs. House said, ever since I've, she's known me, I've never made her bread, which clearly shows it's been a while since I've done it. And it's showing. Um, I'm now just smacking around basically what looks like slime. It is not forming anything. I wonder whether or not I need to get my hands on it. This may be a fatal mistake, if I'm honest, um, but let's just... Yes, that, that, that was a mistake. We had a system that was working, and what I've done is made it worse. A lot worse. Oh dear. No, no. And now we're going to the edge of the table, which we don't want either. This is an incredibly wet, wet dough we've got here. And honestly, if I don't make Mrs. Owl a loaf of bread at the end of this, I think she might rightly question what I've been saying all these years about my ability to bake. I wouldn't put it, I wouldn't blame her. I mean, look at this, look at this. This is not meant to be a wet dough, but it is just refusing to climb any higher. Um, I think we might need here spot more flour. This may be a mistake, but we're going to try it. I'm going to just give it a light dust. Oh, I said a light dusting. No, 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 no. Right, okay. I'm going to just Is this working? Absolutely not. No. I fear, chaps. Chaps of chat. Something has gone drastically wrong. Something is just not quite right here. Because no matter what we're doing, we are just getting slop. There's no other way to put it, unfortunately. It says form into a loaf. Well, unless that loaf 
is a flat ciabatta. It's not a loaf. This is just something has got died, I think, wrong in the whole process. But we're going to soldier on. We should keep trying. Never give up. Let's just see whether or not introducing any will make any kind of difference. Strongly suspect not. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. We have flour and goop everywhere. Oh no. Well, so far it's not going brilliant, really. The, well, the, the karate was alright last night. It was very tasty, but we've got a couple of tricks that we might try just to see about improving it. But I have a fear that after seven hours, what we are looking at here is a completely lost cause. Uh, dear me. Oh dear, 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 dear. Let's try even more flour. I need a brand new apron after this. This is out, the poor dear's not even had lunch yet, so we're going to got to try and get this fixed so that the poor lady can have can have some spot of lunch. Right. Just continue here in the vain hope. But Goomageddon. 2020 can be rescued. But the more, the more we try, the more I fear we are looking at a lost cause. But we might need a stiffer implement for the job. Let's crack out the big guns. Red script. what we can salvage here. Or I have to apologise to Mrs. Allen, go, go walk the many miles to the nearest petrol station in the hopes that they have a loaf. The bread scoop is so far the only thing is giving me any kind of optimism that we might get something with some kind of structural rigidity. But it is still not looking overly promising. Well, I hope to all and those and any that join us that you are well, enjoying your Sunday. If there's anyone sat watching, them, I say hello to you. I can't tell you you're there unless you say hello, unfortunately, because this is all through a mobile phone until we technological upgrade. But hello to you if you're sat quietly watching and enjoying this go slightly fair shaped. Or indeed loaf shaped. If we can get there. Come on. It's a rising age it might have been in. It's a bit more flour in. This may be appalling baking technique, but I quite frankly can't, just cannot seem to think of another option that's going to help us here. It has been through so many proves, I cannot believe it is meant to look like this. This is, however, a brand new bread recipe, so maybe I should have just trusted it and tried to get as close as we could. But never mind. We're here now. We'll make the best of it. Mrs. Al may think differently when she comes to 
see this and makes it. Where the heck is my loaf of bread? Where is it? So it's here, in the goop. Goop seems to be a common, recurring, unfortunate thing, to be honest. It is. Dear me. Dear. Just as an example, the, the recipe says I should be able to pinch the corners to make it look like a loaf. And as you can see, that is just impossible. It's just falling down and down and down and down and down. Hmm, dearie, dearie, dearie. We may be making pitters again which has happened before anyone who's new to our little corner of the world. Sometimes we're for nans, sometimes we get pitters. Let's just keep gently working it. Am I getting any improvement? At what point do I just admit that we're in the shtuck? Well, I mean, you're less sloppy than you were. Let's just keep at it. Just add a bit more. The concern is that now the measurements are all way, way off. But at last, oh, we're getting some thickening. It's still not loaf like. It's something. Seven hours worth of work. Don't do this. Do this. this is why they do this under the Great British Bake Off, I'm sure. It's to test people's resolve when it all goes horribly wrong. Do they cry and leave, or do they continue with their cake scoop and try and make something that resembles something, at least like a cob? Or in my case, can you just not fall on me off the edge of the countertop or onto the floor? More oh, improvisation by name is Owl. Decaffeinated Owl. <laughs> this will be the point as well that I possibly find, as it happened once before, that I've gone offline and not noticed. Mrs. Owl came down to tell me that in fact I've been talking to myself in my own kitchen for a while. Not so clever. Not so clever. Also, it occurs to me, it is of course Easter Sunday, and it could be that a lot of people are either chatting with their family, or having some form of a roast, roast dinner or something of that nature. It may be quite quiet today, aren't we? I'm starting to see some improvement. I'm going to just keep at it. And it's not just because I'm applying centrifugal force to con myself. It actually feels just a little bit thicker. Right, let's keep going. I hope that I'm not just totally butchering this. I mean, honestly, I don't think I should have made it much worse, to be fair. It's not total slop now, however I am working it an awful lot, which won't be helping. I'm just going to have to hope it's robust enough to stand up to it, if I'm honest. I say robust enough and it then promptly falls over like the, the ball of dough that it is. Let's just work a bit more in there. I think after this I'm going to have to stop, because this is not correct. Form. Right. Quite frankly, I have no idea how this is going to turn out. It looks a disaster. 
Oh dear, 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 dear. Oh dear, 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 dear. So prepare this in anticipation. So it needs to be lightly oiled. So let's lightly oil this. Mm -hmm. We're going to lightly dust the inside, who knows, maybe that will help as well. Yeah, for a needless dough, as in you don't need to knead it, um, nah, not worked. I have kneaded this like nobody's business. Last bit here, light dusting. Flour on the inside. <laughs> right. One last turn of the slice. And then it's going in here by hook or crook. Judo ball. And I can give poor Mrs. Owl the lunch. Right. We've got something that is thick lacking entirely in structure. Sounds much like our Prime Minister. No, oh, sorry. Political jokes. Oh, no, no, no. Right, here we go. Right. Yeah, that's just not worth it, even slightly. That is very, very frustrating. Oh, dear me. But I always promise I'd show the failures as well as the successes. This is definitely the former, not the latter. The only thing we can make this work is if I turn around and find that my sink has leaked again. Right. So what we now have is a solid lump. Oh, I don't even know. Oh goodness, this is where we soldier on. Managed to get it on the floor. Oh, I've done that. Very me. Right. So what we need to do now is cover this. Give it another hour. Taking us up to eight hours as we continue to fail our way towards this bread catastrophe. Here we are. Let's see what make. Let's see what we make of it. You never know. From the jaws of one thing to the other thing, you never know. You might get something. Political speeches. Spotted by the owl. Where is my cleaning cloth? Everything's going pear shaped. Oh dear. Cleaning spray. No to be seen. Ah. Got so much waste. So the next part, if this baking was going well, what we are going to do is if you've got it, full lacrosette into the oven at 230 degrees, be careful of your hands, for 45 minutes to an hour. But we're going to say an hour because I think this bread needs as much time as it can possibly muster in order to sort of make its comeback. Down. Hopefully get to work on something that isn't a complete catastrophe. But I suppose that's all part of learning, isn't it folks? 
In fact, I just saw an advert, and clever concept, um, learn from Aerosmith, which is once a week or once a month or whatever it might be, have a crap ideas session where everyone comes together and puts forward a rubbish idea. The idea being nine times out of the ten, it probably is rubbish. But one time out of ten, something genius will come out. Something marvellous, something stupendous. Right. So that might mean I have to do this nine nine or ten more times before we get the desired result. But there we go. Well, nine or ten sort of odd flatbreads. And nine or ten streams. Which we shall say hello to many and various people. Right. That's now clean enough to work with. And my sink isn't leaking. <laughs> Thumbs up. Marvelous. Oh dear me, though. Everything else though, is utter, utter chaos. So I'm going to put this. Oh, good. You know what? I'm going to make a cup of coffee. Why not? What a good idea that is. In fact, what an even better idea, because I've just noticed the. <laughs> The plug that is meant to be plugging in my phone to keep it charged wasn't. Um, and we were about to catastrophically run out of power as well. Um, I'm going to have to rename this the uh, the slightly ineffectual stream. Um, the bread that is refusing to prove. The kitchen that's in dire straits. Not the band. <sighs> coffee. Let's make a coffee. Caffeinate the owl a little bit. And I'll need some for my pasture in any event. Clear some of the chaos out of the way. Washing up duties in due course. I shall have to apologise to Mrs. Owl when she comes down because it genuinely is a bomb site. Um, not really much to say here about what we're doing. It's a dead straightforward one. We were eating this a lot when we went on our wedding anniversary to Italy, mostly because we had little by way of amenities. It is uh, that, Mr. Nosler, hello. Are you well, sir? How are you? You've caught us, uh, well, you've caught us in the middle of chaos. It's all going a bit wrong. <laughs> oh dear me. We are, Yes, uh, yes. What have you been up to, Mr. Nozard? I shall tell you where we've been up to. But uh, have you been having a good Sunday? I am very late indeed. Poor Mrs. Al's not eating anything, and this is part one of two. Because we'll come back to do the karate chicken later. Um, and I'll be honest, there's not even. I don't think I'll explain why. Much point in staying on to see what happens with the bread. It has not gone well. So all we're doing is a, is a, a simple pasta dish that we were having on our wedding anniversary. Not much to it. Fresh vegetables, which I'll wash in a moment. Just cut out the any sections that we don't really want from the veg. Simple pasta sauce, feed the poor lady that's been waiting for her lunch for absolutely hours. I've not been up to much, but two people dressed as bunnies knocked on my door and gave me some cream eggs. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Well, that's rather nice, isn't it? So, it's sort of reverse trick or treating. Um, people come and give you the thing instead. Um, oh, how very jolly. If you like cream eggs, of course. And in fact, if you do, and fancy an interesting little watch, um, the, the good ladies and gents at Bon Appetit on YouTube uh, recently did a gourmet version of Cadbury's Cream Eggs, which looked delightful. They looked lovely. So, just a 
quick rough chop of these. Strip out the white sections inside. Don't really want them. Oh look, I match my chopping. Red pepper. I think that might get a bit tedious though to change your knife every time I change the colour of your ingredient. Yes, we're well, interesting where we, we, we could hear from a long way away uh, some people had gathered um, to sing Amazing Grace, but then we realised, I think, that it was a vicar or someone in their uh, in a travelling church, as it were. Um, who we got? Randy Splurgler. Don't forget your cough. Oh, thank you. God, yes. And hello, Randy. How are you? Are you having a good Sunday as well? Um, coffee. Yes, that's a good idea. Right. Let's have one of these. Accurate measure there. There we are. A very small coffee indeed. Say hello to the panda. Ah. Bit hot. But needed. It's going well, super Randy. I'm glad to hear it. We're having f I'm having fun. I can't say to everyone it's going. I definitely can't say it's going well. We've been doing on it's on uh, the, our Instagram uh, bread, and I've been at this since about nine o'clock this morning when poor Mrs. Al said, "Well, I'd like some bread today." What we have done is multiple proofs, and at this point, this is meant to be a recognisable loaf. I'm just going to bring you over here. This is what I can only characterise as a splat. And try as I might, I cannot get it to do anything but resemble a splat. So I've got a, a rather awful feeling that about seven hours of uh, work on this are about to go up in uh, up the chute. <laughs> I'm afraid to say. So what the plan is, is I'm going to carry on with it just whilst we're prepping a few bits and bobs here. I'll keep the progress going on our Instagram page, but it looks like we might be coming back to a bit of a, a bit of a failed effort here, unfortunately, but uh, it's all a learning curve. I used to bake an awful lot, actually, so I'm not quite sure what I've done wrong. It's just been a long time since I've actually done bread done Korean pancakes, done other bits and pieces, just not bread. So, and this, by the way, has nothing to do with the bread. Uh, this is lunch, because we still haven't had any. Um, so I'm just doing a very quick recipe that uh, Mrs. Al and I had whilst we were having our wedding anniversary in Venice, because all we had was limited amenities, but a lot of, well, in fact, courgette, onion and pepper, Easy to come by. So, uh, what have you been up to? Um, do you prefer Randy or do you prefer Splurgler or do you prefer Randy Splurgler? It's a good tongue twister, that actually. Randy Splurgler. Let's try saying that quickly many times. Right, let's have a quick sip of this. Ah, that's better. So, we've got another 50 minutes until we get our, uh, our cruisette fully heated and then the loaf in inverted commas will go into it and after that point I don't know what happens if I'm entirely honest I think very little is the likely answer I shall turn you around and embarrassingly show you the chaos of the kitchen as it currently stands because it is a bomb site there's a, another way really to put it go Fingers crossed, I'd like to still have a loaf of bread when I come out of this. We'll come back later on to finish up more uh, Karachi chicken. Always Randy, and a spot of gardening. Hey, brilliant. Well, it may, may not have been hit where we are, but it was good weather for it. Which you can't beat really a spot of gardening, can you? The other added thing which has been great fun is the sink started to leak. Um, 
think I fixed it. But we won't know until we do the first load of uh, the first load of washing up. So that's going to be an interesting moment. Right. Especially good with a cup of tea. Absolutely. Well, you know, coffee is what gets me through my day job. Uh, this is not my day job. I just felt the need for one. Uh, but you can always find favour with me in a good cup of tea. Now, let's turn you good folks around. I shall apologise already for the sheer bomb site of the kitchen. You can see it is a combination of food waste bags and bags of flour that have got goop all over them. I've got pasta here. I've not really chopped these well enough. Let's break these down by hand. So we want long thin strips of onion ideally. Just give them a quick. And I think it might be my red knife. I'm not sure. I think it's lost its edge a little bit. So we might just sharpen that whilst these are starting to do their thing. So if anyone's interested, put them on a low temperature to start with. Give them a little drizzle. In fact, we use uh, ground nut oil, but the oil of your preference. Ainsley Harriet level drizzle there. There we are, a bit more of that. So basically what we want is to start it going, keep it at a low level, um, and just let it very gently. Ah, I've also run out of pepper. Dear me. Deary, deary, deary. I'm also without a funnel at the moment, so we'll just try and do this by hand. Ah, the camera angle's going wrong as well. What do you think, folks? Anything else I can get wrong here? Uh, come on. There we go. Right. It's a bit better, isn't it? So. That, I think, will do. There we go. Season liberally. Always a good plan. Salt and pepper can't really go too far wrong. A lot of pepper, in fact. <laughs> D, D, D. A little bit of salt. Not too much. With my belt up for a minute, you can probably hear just starting. Just that little bit. Whoops, Daisy. There we are. Oh, goodness gracious. I turn around and the kitchen behind me is long as I. Oh, dearie, dearie, dearie. Never mind. Right. I will fix that in due course. Let's get some pasta going as well. We're putting you right in the thick of the action. So I'm sorry if anyone gets a small facial steam. Al is quite fond of softer pasta, so closer to well done, definitely a long way from al dente, so no harm in getting started now. So you also uh, you're a viewer, Randy? Are you a streamer yourself? You come here for the food, the computer games, a bit of everything? Indeed, does anybody do gardening? That's a good point. Is there Twitch gardening or is that too difficult? I suppose you need a reliable Wi-Fi signal into the garden. That'd be a bit tricky. Let's try and keep this as clean as possible. And I shall take a moment with the coffee. Bit of everything, really. Oh, so you used to stream. What sort of things did you do? And it's slightly my... Uh, can't resist a bit of old salt pepper. Gaming and music. Oh, nice. Oh, very good. 
just a bit of, I contemplated sticking it near the piano whilst I tinkle, um, on the piano that is, not rudely elsewhere. Um, I'll give that a go actually. Well, I shall have to go and look at some of your videos then, right? Yeah, we'll go and have a, have a look when I've uh, finally given poor Mrs. Al my lunch. Oops. Hmm. Another thing that's quite lovely whilst we were travelling around um, around Italy is um, t yes, tinkling. <laughs> yep. Yes. Touche. Uh, yes, it would make a hell of a mess and a really hard explanation to the person that comes to tune the piano. What went wrong with it? Just, just fix the piano. Just a very, a very messy mess. Yes. Sort of almost chuckle brothers in. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. A mess, a messy mess, a messy, messy mess. <laughs> yes, we shan't have any of that. Um, oh, the other thing we could do would be the actual sort of stuff. Now, we do sometimes make our own sorts, but we have this again whilst we're out in Italy. If you can get this off um, Amazon, it's a really good source. Um, well, this one actually comes with English instructions. We've had a couple of jars which have actually been from Italy. Um, particularly tasty. Very simple. It means you can have a very easy and straightforward sort of lunch, even if it is a bit late. So what we're going to do later on, uh, once we've, uh, once I've finished being beaten by bread, is going to have another shot at Karaji chicken. I've taken a couple of hints and suggestions, and what we're going to try is, well, we're going to change the oil. So instead of using ground nut, we're just going to use some standard vegetable oil. Instead of using flour and potato starch for the... Uh, Oh, I'm sorry, uh, Randy, in case I'm jumping ahead, yesterday we did deep fried uh, Japanese chicken and it didn't quite work, it was still delicious, but the coating went a bit wrong. So we're going to try playing with the, the coating that's going on. I'm going to change the oil, and be a bit more careful with the temperature, which I, have, I, I sent it far too high too quickly. And then I put more chicken in to bring the temperature down, which swapped the pan. Um, so it just wasn't quite that, but we're going to give it another shot later. I might make a backup dinner as well, just in case that one doesn't pan out. And if I'm honest, I don't think we're really going to have a, a loaf of bread reveal, unfortunately. Um, I think we may be looking at a lost cause. We will fight it to the bitter end, nonetheless. So here's to that. Cheers. <coughs> Yeah, this is just our, I'd say this, like this is our recipe, it's our dead simple pasta dish that we go for, just a, a steady stamp, uh, a steady staple. A lot of vegetables, well cooked pasta, sauce, serve, done. I'm trying to remember as best I can, I'm, I'm putting all of these onto our YouTube channel. Uh, I sometimes get a bit forgetful and they, uh, they disappear before I can put them there. But yes, we had a lot of fun, a lot of fun with the chicken. In fact, I spent this morning whilst I was chatting to my grand. She did wonder what I was doing. Um, in her own words, why is he attacking that meat? So I've also taken a step of, I don't know if it comes out very well on the camera, but we've, I've reduced the size of each of the chunks from about two to one inch to about half an inch to one inch instead. Left it in the marinade. I don't, they won't do it any harm. We got rid of the, after mulling it over, got rid of the flour and the snarch that we used to coat them. Because there's a little bits of chicken in it, you don't really want to. Salmonella is not worth risking over a couple of tablespoons of flour and starch. My fault for putting too much in in the first place. So here we are, having it on the low heat as well, gives it a nice soft start. And what I'll probably do is turn up the temperature right at the end just to give it a bit of colour. Colour at the end. So, uh, Randy, where are you based then? Uh, I always like to find out where our chat's from. United Kingdom, are you? Further afield? I 
let's see how the thread's getting on as well. Oh well. Well, it's definitely not loaf like. Absolutely not loaf like, but it is doubling in size again. I just wish that it actually had some sort of some shape and some form because it's meant to actually basically look like a loaf of bread. Uh, oh, rugby! Oh, I know rugby! Oh, what a lovely place! I've been there many times. In fact, in a, in a day long, long go by, I nearly went to university in Warwickshire. Travelled through there many a time. In fact, let's just have a quick test of the pasta that uh, you good folk can't quite... Oh, I'll turn the camera around just a little bit. I'm sure you've all seen pasta boiling before, but there it is again. Let's just see... Nope, that's still rock hard. I can tell that in a moment. So, and I'll put this on um, social media as well, Mr. Nelson. We're going to have, I think, a couple of offline video games this evening because I still can't, I haven't got the power line adapters to, uh, to link up to our router, unfortunately. One of them has gone kaput. I'm going to buy a brand new one. It's a tad frustrating because we we're all ready to get going with uh, our gaming streams to intersperse the food. But we should be patient. All good things will come. He says, whilst plucking dried goop and dough from his flour. Oh, heavens, it's all over the place. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh dear, folks. Um, th this has not gone well. Um, um, oh dear. Uh, um, hmm. What we're going to do is just just move that out of the way. Anyway. Nobody saw anything, we'll just pretend that didn't happen. Yes, I think everything going on in the world, Mr. Nelson, I quite agree. It's a bit of a shame, but we will wait. Our patience will be rewarded. We'll just have fun with it. And in the meantime, we shall continue to try and make a single loaf of bread in under 12 hours. I might just try my old recipe uh, as the next one. Because this is apparently, this recipe here is meant to be a, a bread that you don't even need to knead. But by the time I turned it out for the third time, it, in fact, if you run back the start of this stream all the way to the start, you'll see that it just, when I pour it out, it just goes, <clears throat> um, nearly filled the countertop and nearly fell off the edge. Um, it's not really a great deal of use. Lightly exfoliated to the face. Well, that's a thought, Randy. You said music, of course. Um, what was it you were playing? What did you play? Stringed instruments, pianos, keyboards. Actually, some of that. It's only just a good. I think it's good. Breaking things. I've never really actually checked out the music scene on uh, Twitch. A bit silly, actually. Right. Let's try this. Okay. Well, we're slowly getting that, so I shall go and um, give Mrs. Owl a call and see if she's ready to come on that. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Guitar and bits and bobs. Very nice. Very nice. Wait a bit. I have a guitar. I have said for years I shall learn how to play it. I'm still saying I shall learn how to play it. Uh, just continue to say it ad nauseum. Uh, and I think, ah, hello, Mrs. Al. 
We were having bread problems. Oh no, what's going after, on? After seven, also we've got uh, Randy and Mr. Nosler. So, hello. hello. Um, you know it was meant to form into a sort of loaf and then turn it into a ball. Yeah. When I tipped it out onto the counter, it just literally went <laughs> everywhere. So I've added extra flour. It has done absolutely nothing. So I've no idea what's going on. Just... Just it in a pot and see what happens. Yeah, I mean, that's. I've got the lacquer like, that's heating up. Um, that's so weird, though. I know. I, I, we follow the recipe. Maybe it's too much. Why is it going to be I've no idea. I really have no idea. I hoped adding extra flour. Um, ah, the chaps say hello. Um, how do you fancy trying the grape aid? Grapefruit aid? Yeah, sure. Do you want to. Super. What we're going to try now, chat, um, is grapefruit aid. We're adding, we made the mixture last night, which is just grapefruit and sugar. I can't and, oh. Okay, I'll get another one. Oh. The advantages of being tall. Um, I was just uh, telling the chaps as well, we got the inspiration for this recipe. Um, in our low maintenance uh, Italian ventures on our wedding anniversary. Is it? Yes, the lunch, not the bread. Okay. So, what we had, ably brought out from Stabler. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. We've done one, well, we've just cut up the grapefruit into slices and we've put caster sugar, as you can see by the excellent labelling. We've done this one with coconut sugar. You might be able to see there's a marked difference in the amount of liquid, so that's the coconut sugar, there's a lot there. Not as much, if at all, for the caster. And then all we're going to do is put in a spot of ice, pour over some sparkling water that we've got going in the fridge, and that's it. It's basically a lower sugar, I won't say no sugar because it, quite a bit goes in, then you make it yourself. Um, citrus does work best. What do we need? A spoon. That's so cool. I can be can. Ah, yes, yes. And the straw is actually. So there we go. Oh, ah, that's rather hot. I'm going to turn that down. Let's switch it. Okay, so we're going to do one with the coconut. Sugar concoction and one with the cracker sugar concoction. Yeah. And then we will compare. Super duper. Okay. What do you think, folks? Pitch your bets now. Is it? Was it? Uh, I always loved that show, and I keep getting to watch it. Um, when I was much younger, it was. Oh, hang on. Let's have a sniff test. Mmm. Does it smell anything? It smells of grapefruit. Yeah. As uh, to be honest, if it didn't smell of grapefruit, I might be quite surprised. Um, right. Be... What do we think, though, folks? Is it going to be the uh, coconut sugar? Or the caster sugar, which one's going to come out better? I think probably the coconut sugar because there's more syrup. Hmm, I think it's just let loose a bit more of the juice. Yeah. Alright, so I'll do three slices and then I'll. Yeah. Right, so turn that right down. Let's get the pasta off. I'll try and show you what Mrs. Al was doing rather than me. Uh... Randy goes for coconut. He thinks the coconut's going to come out yeah, better. Yeah, same. I think you're both right. I think oh, it's no. that. Oh, it's all right. Don't worry. Every, <laughs> this has been a, a multitude of failures, um, this stream. And I'm really, really, I'm, I'm, a, I'm frustrated, actually. Because I want to spent all day. Yeah, I'm, bread. exactly. I, I wanted to give you a nice bit of bread. Yeah. So oh, here we are. Still... You never know. You never know. So, OK, we've got two votes for uh, two votes for coconut. There we are. That's the cake, not so I'm just get some of that water from the kettle. Oh no, because I've poured it all away. I'm just not on form today. Mm. Clearly, I peaked yesterday. Um, mm. No, let's not. Let's be optimistic. We shall peak again this evening um, with chicken mark two. Chicken harder. Let's just get a second. So. Nothing complicated, no cheese, no... I mean, you could add cheese, obviously. You could do this equally with pesto, I suppose, but uh, this is just a nice, simple, 
Arabiata, penne, vegetables. It's big, it's warm, it's comforting. And if anyone's interested, I love this as a, as a, as a cooking principle. Um, and it came from the late and lovely uh, Carluccio. Uh, not, not his chain of stores, the man himself. But it's the principle of moth moth. And moth moth stood for minimum of fuss, maximum flavour. Maximum of flavour. Um, and I remember watching on BBC, he was doing a documentary. And it was about four days before he sadly passed away, I think, in his sleep. And he was still just doing that in his kitchen. He was just merrily just cooking away. Simple and straightforward. Minimum of fuss, maximum of flavour. Right. Now that we've got that nearly done and plating will happen, let's perhaps turn the chaps around and do the taste test. I'm just going to not put in a lot so we get more flavour. Yeah, let's do... Oh, and here we are. We're back again. Okay, so this is cleaned up. caster sugar. Okay, so caster and sugar this is on the right. Coconut. I'm sorry about the camera angles, folks. Even that's not really going well today. Sorry about that. Now, which one is caster? Which one is coconut? This is caster. That's caster. Yeah. That's coconut. Okay. Right. Let's try. Yeah, let's try. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, all. Whatever you would drink, maybe. It's a really great fruit. It's like really sour. This one isn't. This one's quite mild actually, so I'll just swap them around. It's just really sour. Yeah. Um, yeah I, think I, it, I, think it, I think it needs more sugar. Hmm. Cheers, Alice. Welcome back. Did you enjoy your dog walk? Do you want me to put any more in, or do you think we should leave it? Um, yeah, maybe put some more in. And to be honest, then I'll put some more sugar in there as well, actually. I think I want oh, you could like put honey in, but we don't have our honey readily available. No, I could get some more. Um, Wait, no, it's in the garage. That's why we don't have yeah. any readily available. Okay, this is the caster. That's the caster. Good shot. So I'll, I'll, you do that, I'll plate up our lunch. Ah! Whoop! <laughs> Five second rule was hooked, and the floor was very clean, so I shall put that on the This has so, much more syrup. I, was, I must admit, I was a bit... Sh well, there was no real measure for the sugar, was there? I was a bit... No. I was, so may maybe I've not put enough in, Guess but... Why. We've all... I've well, found as... <laughs> give up. I, just, we'll just eyeball it. I mean, I we found, haven't we, that the Korean soft drinks, and their... Oh, yes, and they made love it because... Because of, you know. It, they're quite mild. So you order a drink, which is a Korean soft drink with mint, for example. You get this tiniest whiff of mint. Yeah. But that's it. If you have if you have a Korean soft drink, and then you have, say, like a Coca-Cola or something, you, your taste buds will go ballistic because it's a completely different... It's a completely different animal. See, it's just a bit more... It's sweeter, but it's still like really sour. I think that one's not so sour. I think the coconut sugar may have brought it out more. I will say though, it's refreshing. I don't think I really like it. Do you not? No. Do you want to try it with something else instead? What do you mean? Like uh, a different citrus. Or... What, I'm just mean like lemonade? I think we need measures. I don't know. It's something to work on. It, clearly, this has been an afternoon's worth of cooking and drinks, which has not gone to plan. Mm -hmm. But we still, nevertheless, have got soft. Uh, we got soft drinks made ourselves, and I love grapefruit, so I'm I'm kind of happy. Yeah, does it taste grapefruity? Mm. I think the answer might be maybe I even need to muddle it. Maybe you actually. Can't could try and just knocking it a bit and well we can just put on more sugar and put them back yeah. in the fridge and... we might try that and let you, you let you guys know how that goes we'll put some more sugar in them and see if that releases it a bit more maybe we can try giving it a muddle um, a bit maybe knock some of the flavour out but they're, they're very refreshing if you want to give it a go and it is literally grapefruit sugar and then just literally sparkling water uh, pour it over ice and you're away. So let's move them there, do a quick plate up, 
And Alice, of course, will be released. She was you know, terribly worried that we seem to be having dinner at 10 o'clock. We're now having lunch at... <laughs> I don't know when. It's um, like uh, half five. Is it half five? five? Yeah. Oh, great. This is basically just dinner. No, we do chicken. Chicken. Here we go. A quick plate up. And folks, once we've got this plated up, that'll be it for our part one. Here we are. We will, uh, nice straws. Ah, yeah, oh, who have we got? One day, one day I'll learn my banjo. <laughs> one day, I, I, don't, I hope you're having a lovely afternoon. Yes, um, we got these, uh, I can't remember where we got them actually from, but it's basically to stop buying repeated numbers of straws. Um, plastic straws. Plastic straws, so always good. So here we are, simple moth moth pasta, minimum fuss, maximum of flavour, and a couple of soft drinks to boot. So we're going to go off and enjoy these whilst they're hot. Um, the bread is still got another 23 minutes to go. Um, I will be sure to keep the updates of those running on our Instagram and the links, uh, I think, on the bio. It should be anyway. Um, and we'll come back later to do uh, Karaji Chicken Mark II. Um, so that's it from us for part one. Hope you all have a lovely rest of the afternoon. Hopefully see you guys back again when the kitchen is clean and we'll be more successful this time. Thinking positive. positive. <laughs> Hang on, where's the bread? Is it improving? No, no, it's... No, no, dear. Um, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh. We'll, we'll see what happens. Some kind of baked confection will come out. Uh, we will do one day. Thank you very much. Sorry you've come just as we're leaving. Um, come back later. See us then. Uh, we'll do crunchy chicken. We'll reveal the bread. Um, and we'll see you then. Ta-ta for now, folks. Bye. Bye. And I can't find the end button. This stream. <laughs> this stream, I swear. <laughs> This one, my end. Yes. That I still haven't. Like, this is. Oh, blimey. Right. Ta ta!